So we're in Clovis, California, getting ready to set a toilet here, and uh, this is the existing angle stop. Uh, we're going to go ahead and replace the bolts, the wax ring, all that, and get a new toilet set down here provided by the homeowner. One thing we did want to note before we get started, you can see, hopefully, if it'll focus, the, um, the compression side of this angle stop that takes the supply line is damaged. Something got dropped on it, so I'll try and get a picture from the top, and it's not going to want to focus, but you can see that big chunk, which is basically, let me see if I can get my thumb down there. This portion right here, you can see how it's damaged. You got a nice ring around here. You can see all the way around the perimeter until you get to here. So something's been dropped on it. Uh, I don't I don't know what, honestly. But this is where the supply line meets. So the old one, we've got it off right here and you can see. Hi there, how are we doing? <laughs> got a help for today, look at that. <laughs> Hi there, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yes, you are. <laughs> Super funny, very friendly cat. <laughs> anyway, so this is the part that goes on there, and it's got a gasket in there that seals, so um, not real comfortable with that. I mean, there's not much we can do besides change the angle stop, so um, <clears throat> we'll start getting parts out, and we'll talk to the homeowner and see what they want to do. Uh, if it wasn't leaking before, perhaps it won't leak, uh, you know, after we're installed, but anytime we see something like that, we have to document it. The valve is shutting down, and uh, so we don't want to mess with that. If we're going to keep it, we don't want to, you know, uh, mess with it too much because they begin to drip out of the packing net. It is plastic stubbed out. You can see the blue Aquapex, uh, whoever the manufacturer is. Don't like that particular installation. I like to see brass stubbed out of the wall. It gives everybody a good opportunity to do work on it. Uh, handyman, plumber, homeowner, uh, anybody. But anyway, so that's just a little document to get started. And we'll take another video when we're done. So the second portion of this video is Tiller and Cloves, California. We've got uh, an existing PVC flange down here, closet flange, with the integrated uh, adjustable metal ring on here. And the reason why they developed these is plumbers couldn't measure correctly, so they gave them a big slotted uh, entry on both sides over here. And that way, before it all got uh, anchored into place, you could adjust this. Uh, the old style, it's just a slot on the right, slot on the left, and you had to glue it straight down. Otherwise, what would happen is the plumbing uh, the toilet would be sitting crooked off the wall one way or the other depending on how how uh, badly you measure off this back wall. Um, the problem with the rings is they're powder coated, they are steel, and you can see the corrosion on this side. So you get water down there and what happens is it begins to eat away the steel. So you can see the rust on this side. You can't see it a lot on this side because I haven't pulled the nut off uh, yet, but there is corrosion down here. And the only reason I bring it up is because this is what we're going to be mounting to. This is what this is the foundation, this is the base for all every toilet installation. These guys right here, they absolutely have to be still and have to have something to pull against. Sorry about all the shaking. So you can see here, um, you know, the corrosion built up. The steel looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, you know, what we'll do is we'll take these out and uh, you can see, it looks pretty good, but it's corroding right where the bolt pulls against. And so we're gonna pull the other one out, take a look at that, <clears throat> make sure that they're good. And like I say, we always put new bolts in just because the reason, um, you know, there's no reason not to. You've got the toilet pulled out anyways. Bolts are about two to three dollars for a kit. And so honestly, that's that's when you wanna replace it. So this guy's giving me a little trouble coming out, but that's all right. <clears throat> we'll get it out of there. And then we'll take a look at this one too. So you can see, not bad. So it's still in pretty good shape, but that's where all the torque uh, takes place right here on this rusted piece of steel. The bolt is pulling up and you put those bolts in, the toilet bowl sits down and then you've got a, a nut on both sides that you tighten down and it pulls it to the floor and keeps it still. And so we don't like to see this, but uh, it's all we got to work with. So we'll put some new bolts in, get it set, take another video when we're done. Still here in Clovis, California. We've finished installing the toilet. This is a Kohler, I think it's a memoir. Um, not real sure. It came in uh, separate uh, pieces straight from Home Depot. So you got the bowl, got the tank, and then of course seat was separately soft closed. It was a little fussy setting it. You know, if you, if you kind of look down uh, this side, it's hard to see because it's reflective, the white is. You can see the seat sits inside the bowl area all the way around. Same thing over here, it sits inside the bowl area. And uh, it's a little fussy getting it adjusted, but and, and of course then over the front it hangs over. The seat hangs all the way over the bowl. So 
Anyways, it should be a direct fit for any Kohler toilet, but you can see it's a little bit wider around the perimeter here than it is at the front if you're looking straight down. We got it centered as much as we could. We had to fuss around with these bolts. Uh, you know, they're designed to go in one way, really, uh, these little guys here. And this allows you to pull the seat off. So the, these little clips, you can see the black mounting brackets. And in the white, you just pull back on this toilet, pull the whole thing out, and that's good for cleaning. And then to lock it in, you just take the guys and snap them back into place. So it's adjusted best it can. Uh, we were concerned about that shutoff valve. We've got a brand new supply line on there and we don't see any water. We actually just saw some water drip and it's off the tank itself. And I think that's from flushing uh, with the lid off. So, the, oh, no, it is cracked. Right here. You can see it. It's bleeding through. So, uh, it's been installed, but that's, uh, you know, that's Home Depot. We're going to have to get it back over there and uh, get it replaced. So, we're going to shut that water off, drain it down. And then uh, <laughs> we won't take another video when we're done. Let's get that shut off. And again, I don't like this because the uh, shut up valve, you can see how much that shut off valve torques. You know, it's on plastic and, and it's really tight. So, anyways, we're just going to flush it and let it drain. <clears throat> and then um, get back with Home Depot for a replacement on that. Hopefully, they don't have a problem. You know, we did install it, but that was straight out of the package. We we're very careful with these items, so this was cracked in the box. First one that they ordered was completely crushed, uh, and that was about two weeks back. So they ordered another one, and we got it, and it's cracked. You can see all the way up to the handle right there, that little fracture. So, anyways, um, <clears throat> that's all we can do for now. Outside of that, this installation is done.